So hello, you see me with a bunch of keys in my hand. This is because I have a bike on the back of my van. And uh, this is the new SQ Natino Pro. And I'm about to give it its first ever, or my first ever testing. I'm at my local place that I've come to many times before, up on the Clan Gullen viewpoint. And we are definitely going to be taking this bike for a bit of a ride on some of the places I've taken the other bikes to see how good it is and whether it fares up. So let's get it off the rack. Let you have a little bit of a look at it and see what you think. So here she is, she's off the van now, and I'm not gonna talk about it here. Uh, I think the best thing to do is get on it, get the battery in, take it for a ride, head up uphill, and see what it actually rides like, and then I'm gonna have a sit down and tell you all about it. So stick with me, let's get my gear on. Right, that's that bit done. Now we need shoes, helmet, bag, gloves, and knee protection. <sighs> so I've got pretty much everything I need now. I just need to put my helmet on, give you an idea of where we're taking this bike so that you've got an idea of what it can do. And I've never been there before. Now, I did say that this location is a location that I have actually been to. But today I'm going to take it on a route I haven't been on. So I just need to keep my notes in my pocket, get my camera, which hopefully will fit on my low pro bag. And if you haven't seen this low pro bag, I've got a video for it somewhere. And uh, the camera basically attaches to it when I can find the, the clips. One up there and one over there. So my camera can stay around my waist or around my chest. And uh, yeah, I've got a GoPro on the go up here and I've got my phone and everything. So yeah, great little bag, really is. Um, check that link out if you wanna have a look. So yeah, the bike, let's get going. Um, drop of water before I go. It's very warm. Mm. I do need some fluids. I've got a couple of liters with me. Now I have no idea what this bike's capable of, apart from the fact it's a lot more capable than the old one so uh, come on let's get going to give you a taste of where we're going we're going up on the top of that so I want to make my way up and across along the top there's a rock formations and stuff up the top there now I was going to go down through the woods and up through the woods but I'm not sure what the path's like that far end so I'm going to take the bike up the road just to get myself used to it a little bit because I'm not actually ridden it yet and then I'm going to find the path and head off road and go up over these stones and see what it's like up there. So uh, yeah, wish me luck. So the first thing I do notice, and you may have to excuse a little bit of wind noise on the microphone because I haven't got the wind muffs with me, <clears throat> is that uh, the gear shifters are in a different position. So your thumb flicks forward to go up and your thumb flicks forward to go down. It's got a different gear shifter on it and it's got nine gears on it. So I'm hoping these nine gears are gonna make it a bit easier for me to get up and down the hills you've obviously got the five speeds as well which is your power assist and at the moment I'm only on one I'm just going to tinker along with it 
pedals feel good the bike feels a bit shorter which feels nice it feels a bit stockier and uh, it feels like a nice position to sit in um, compared to the last Natino which I wasn't quite sure of but so far just literally riding up the road this feels comfortable so if it's uh, inspiring on the hills and off-road then that's what we want So I've made it up on top of these rocks and, uh, ooh, and I'm very impressed. I've never been up here before, but the views up here are absolutely amazing. Look at all that behind me. So I've come from right down there. I've come up through some wooded area and uh, yeah, one Escute Natuno Pro. So is it any better? What is my first thoughts of it? Well, my first thoughts are yes it is better it's definitely an improvement there's definitely more power there but i definitely learned to need to ride it i learned i definitely need to learn to ride it better uh, it's building confidence on what you're riding on and where you are um, but yes i think there's an improvement you need to learn to use your gears a bit better and stuff like that so what do you get first impressions um, the power output it's a mid-drive motor uh, it's mid-drive it's a bifang uh, M410 motor. It's a mid-drive, so it means it's in the middle. It's on the front pedals rather than the rear hub, uh, which means it should give you a lot more output. Uh, and it's designed so the more pressure you put on the pedals, the more power you get. You know, you're delivered and you're given. And it seems to make that difference. It does. I can actually feel it working. Uh, it comes in quite nicely and it goes off when you stop pedaling quite nicely. Um, it's got five gear, uh, five speed output the controls are now on the um, handlebars which are absolutely fantastic for turning it on and off uh, for you switching your light on and off and for your power up and down very very easy to use it's on your thumb really really nice really big display it's a bifang display it's got all your details and information on there it's got trip meter it's got your speedo it's got your distance it's got everything on there that you'd want on a bike for telling you where and when you've been and how fast you're going so it's brilliant uh, the speed indicator is really easy to see you can see one to five very very simply on the right hand side you've got your gear selector so your gear selector you've got nine gears on this nine gears is brilliant i've not not got into them yet but i'm definitely going to have a sort of test of them over this weekend this is only my first thoughts but having nine gears means i've got a lower gear for the really hard pressure stuff going uphill and i did get uphill quite well just now until it got a bit steep and i run out of puff um, and yeah you've got the ninth gear which should be a little bit of a bigger gear so for when you're going downhill running on the road and stuff like that it should be a bit better um, you've got some really nice pedals on it uh, they're quite slim quite sleek um, 
they feel really good under your feet they're quite a nice flat surface so they feel really good underneath your feet the suspension's okay as well the suspension seems to work i feel it's sort of squidging and pressing a little bit uh, it's got a lock on it so you can lock the suspension off and you've also got preload on it as well um, so you can preload the suspension to give you that correct amount of um, compression um, yeah first impression so far is pretty good and as i've never been up here before it's an absolute treat to be reviewing this bike and looking at it in such a fantastic environment it really is um, it's got a 522 milliamp battery i think it is um, so it's good for about 80 miles they reckon now i did the natino test on the last one and i got 65 or nearly 70 miles out of it and that was giving it some real hard work as well so uh, all the gears all the pressure off road and everything um, but on the road simple riding it should give you a good 80 miles i wouldn't have thought any problem whatsoever the seat on this is quite comfortable um yeah i do agree the seat is quite comfortable it's a slightly different design to the other ones it's like, like a spring compression underneath it and it does seem to work quite nicely so my first impressions are fantastic um, that's all i wanted to do really give you my first idea my first impressions and tell you a little bit about the bike so uh, yeah short and sweet for this one thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe i will be testing it a bit more i will be riding a bit more but i'm going to do some photography now and if you haven't seen my photography channel check it out paul compton pd photography and uh, that's what i do mostly but yes fantastic little bike really impressed with it so far first impressions a big thumbs up ciao for now bye bye